In this video will show how you can use the Data Acquisition Toolbox with the third-party Data Acquisition app to configure a DAC session and automatically generate code to perform the same tasks again in the future. Data Acquisition Toolbox allows you to talk directly to data acquisition hardware and modules and you can configure it uh, actually from within MATLAB. Once you configure it, uh, you can use MATLAB to uh, do single shot or continuous acquisition and bring that data directly into the MATLAB environment and even analyze it live in some cases. So in this demo I'll collect data from an accelerometer that I have and I'll show uh, this compact DAC which is sitting on my desk it has these three modules in it and one of them supports uh, EAP accelerometer measurements and I have an EAP accelerometer uh, connected to pin AI0. So I'll dive into MATLAB and show that demo. Now before you start working with Data Acquisition Toolbox, you probably want to know what hardware uh, is there available that you can connect to. There's a useful command called dac.get devices, and this will list all the hardware that's available uh, on your computer. You'll notice that I have a few things here. I have the compact DAC chassis, which has three DAC modules on it. I also have a NIUSB uh, DAC device. And then I have a number of audio devices, which uh, refer to the microphones and speakers of my computer, my monitor, my phone, my headset, and so on, that are all uh, connected up to my computer. When you're getting started working with a new toolbox, it can be daunting to figure out um, you know, what sort of code you need to write to, um, to start using it. So this has uh, been made much easier because uh, someone has actually gone and created a UI for a lot of the functionality available in the Data Acquisition Toolbox. It's called the Data Acquisition Tool. This is not uh, shipped with the toolbox, but it's available as a separate download. And so if I open up Add-on Explorer, I can search for Data Acquisition, and we see that this Data Acquisition app, so this is what I've downloaded and installed into MATLAB, and I can launch it from here. Now I'll select the NI9234 module, which has only an analog input subsystem, and I have an accelerometer plugged into it in analog input zero. After doing that, I can create a session to connect to it. We'll notice that uh, when I created the session, now this whole session properties tab has been populated with all the properties that are available to set for, uh, for this session. I would like to change this from a one second of data acquisition to five seconds and from about 1.6 kilohertz um, sample rate to about four uh, kilohertz. And you notice that it actually automatically changed it to a value that's supported by the hardware because it doesn't support um, every, every possible value. There's also channel properties and so for this uh, analog input channel I might want to set some, some properties there. I can check the sensitivity for the EAP accelerometer that I'm using, uh, which is about 100 uh, millivolts per, per gravity. So that's a useful uh, quantity that allows me to get data back in real world units. Now, uh, before I run this acquisition, uh, I actually have this accelerometer mounted to a fan on my desk, so I'll go ahead and turn that fan on. You may have heard that a uh, soft hum start to come in. And so if I run this session for five seconds, we'll see uh, what the vibration of that fan actually looks like. So now we see some really interesting oscillations, some uh, some peaks that look to be fairly, fairly regular, and uh, all this shows up in the plot here. Now the key feature of this tool, so it's really nice that you can you know select everything that you want to do, but the key feature here is this session log. The session log records everything that I've done so far up to this point and gives me the option to save code for the session. So I'll save that as uh, read accelerometer uh, session maybe. And all this code was generated automatically for me and it goes through the exact set of steps that I went through using the app. Uh, but now I can see the lines of code that are used to do that. So we can see there's a create session command, add analog input channel, uh, several properties that I've configured for the session and the channel, and uh, the part where I actually ran the 
uh, acquisition in foreground and created a plot of it. So if I close this window, I can run it again uh, from the script itself. And five seconds later, we get the uh, nice plot of the vibration of my fan, which I can, of course, zoom into and begin to explore uh, these interesting dynamics of the vibration. Right. I can also, of course, modify this. So say, uh, if we remember that uh, the sample rate was set to something not exactly 4, 000, 4 kilohertz, that I can store that value in a variable, fs, and now I've written my own custom function called uh, plot fft, which does some simple uh, FFT creates a simple single-sided FFT plot, and now we're really getting into you know, analysis. I can see there's a peak at 120 uh, hertz here, and there's some harmonics about every 30 hertz uh, above and below that. So we get some interesting view into, sorry, so we get some interesting view into what that data looks like. Okay, so what we saw there uh, was that we were able to use an app that was available through the Add-on Explorer as a separate download and use that to uh, figure out all the ways to communicate with our uh, data acquisition hardware. We could configure the session and the channel properties, uh, run the acquisition, acquire data and visualize it, and then automatically generate all the code for the steps that we'd gone through up to that point so that we can uh, interpret it and customize it and automate those tasks if we want to perform them in the future.